You like that window cat? Do you enjoy that? Would you like me to make your ledge a little bit bigger? That's what he wants. And so I got to work, making the little ledge for my supervisor. Of course, with all projects, we go ahead and start off with a simple drawing. And as you can see, uh, we basically want a board uh, that's going to be notched on each side uh, in order for it to have a little bit of a wider ledge. We also added a large rabbit so we can have a larger area for glue up. We need to start off with some boards. Uh, so I already took the measurements and uh, what I wanted for the windows and I went ahead and cut the boards to length. Okay, after I get the uh, boards cut to length, I go ahead and set up the planer and uh, plane the boards to thickness. And all throughout the uh, planing, I was having a little bit of issues with my dust collecting system. I'm really glad that we ended up getting a, a one not too long ago to replace the one that I had before. Uh, so the director of marketing showed up to let us know that the link to our Etsy store is in the description below. Now I went ahead and cut all of the boards to the same width. I went ahead and flipped the uh, boards around uh, in order to cut off uh, the other side as well because the uh, rough cut made it so it was uh, it would be kind of hairy on one side. So I went ahead, uh, went over one side, adjust the fence, and then went over the other side. So I was dealing with five windowsills, and after taking measurements, all of the windowsills had different length and width, so each board had to be made custom to each windowsill. I had to measure from the center out in order to get the right length for each board. Now if I were to do this project again, I would go ahead and make all the cuts. Uh, with the jigsaw uh, when it comes to the edges of the boards. When using the table saw to do this, it always either went a little over or not far enough, so then I always ended up having to finish it with the jigsaw anyways. Now that I got all the boards uh, where I wanted it, I go ahead and set up my dado stack so I can go ahead and make some rabbits. A dado stack allows you to make uh, fairly wide cuts into boards, uh, usually for joining. So now I take out my router bit and make a little groove in order to go over the window trim so I don't have to remove the original trim. And then this happened. So I go ahead and make an executive decision and decide to go ahead and cut the grooves with the dado stack instead of using the router bit. Luckily, I did most of the processes already with six boards rather than five, which I really needed. So I was able to go ahead and uh, replace that board with no problem. Here I go ahead and uh, plane and sand down most of the areas on the boards that were a little rough from the initial cut. Okay, so right here where you cannot see, I went ahead and uh, made a chamfer over the edges of each board so it wouldn't have such an abrupt uh, 90 degree angle. Now I got out my finishing sander and started at uh, 60 grit, working my way to 220. And finally, I go ahead and lay out all the projects after cleaning up a little bit and put a couple uh, coats of polyurethane on. While sound sanding in between coats, I usually put around four coats of polyurethane. Now, we sit and observe the big bunky as he climbs and perches atop a ladder. He meticulously cleans the ledge of the window. This is the surface where he plans on placing the new windowsill as promised.
to his supervisor and marketing director it's a lot of pressure for this big bunky and so he goes forward with his plan to put the construction adhesive but alas the adhesive is placed in the wrong location Noticing his error, panic and chaos have set in. Stammering now, down the ladder, he desperately searches for paper towels. Quickly, he tries to cover up his mistake. Finally then, mistake has been corrected. He places the shiny no- new sill on the ledge. I am naturally fit, so I place my weights triumphantly on the shelf. The process of cleaning the area, uh, placing the glue, and uh, setting the project on and then weighing it down is repeated for all five windows. And the marketing director showed up just to let me know that he was impressed with the work I did. He obviously didn't notice the screw-up I had done earlier. Our marketing director uh, could not even wait for the glue to dry before he started climbing on his new platforms. Now we go ahead and install his new office for his marketing department of Bunky's Woodworking. He now has a new corner office at Bunky's Woodworking right next to the design and editing department. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out our social media pages in the link below. Please stick around to see the cat playing on his new furniture.